guys, welcome to When Creativity Knocks. I'm your host, Megan Arujo, and we are here with the lovely Cindy Busson. How are you? Hello, Cindy. And of course, the forever crafty one, my mother, Anna. <laughs> Just kidding. Poke, poke, poke. <laughs> All right. So, Mom, tell us a little bit about the project that we're going to be doing we're today. We're going to do this lovely heart puff necklace. I'm just going to slide over. We've been practicing. See if this will slide off. Okay, it won't. <laughs> anyway, we're going to be doing this little necklace. It's really fun and super, super easy to do. And Cindy's going to actually show us how to do the bead portion, and I'm going to show you how to make the puffed heart portion. Right, and what we're going to be using today is Earth Safe Finished product. And what's really great about what they offer is that it is made with no VOCs. And that is a chemical that you often find in crafting paint and those sort of supplies for your projects. And this is much healthier for the environment, much healthier for you. It's safer for you to use indoors. And it's, you know, a good way for you to play your part in keeping things green. And um, if you'd like to find out more information about what the different types of pro products that they have, you can go to earthsafefinishes.com. So um, let's get started on this lovely necklace of yours. Right. So start with, show us how you're gonna do the beads because you came up with a really fun way to do the beads. We just wanted okay. to do something fun and a little bit different to make some kind of funky beads. And we started with just plain wooden beads. Yes. Okay. And right. then we painted them with the Earth Safe Finishes acrylic paint, uh -huh. which covers in one coat. Uh -huh. it's, it's fabulous, it's got a great <laughs> texture. And once that was dry, we did a light pink. I wanted to give this one a little marbling. So I'm literally going to roll it. I'm spreading out a little of the shimmer opaque product. Which and it comes like that, right? Yep, it comes. Ooh, it's all yeah, shimmery. This, is, this okay. stuff is fabulous. And what's it. really great is all of their products work on fabric or wood or Right, paper that's the good thing is I noticed you can use them wood, fabric, any it's type fantastic. of surface and it, it sticks well. So I took my painted bead and I just kind of rolled it. It's a really great way to just do it on your paper, yeah. roll it, you it can just, add more paint. It's a paint. real random effect. It's a totally random effect. Right. And we actually did some of the smaller beads to use on Anna's pendant, but we did the same technique. It's okay, cool. The big cool. one so you could see it a little bit better. Okay. That was one of the quick and easy techniques we did. These were simply painted with two shades of the Earth Safe acrylic paint uh -huh. and allowed to dry. And then I put some of their varnish on top, which is a great product. And while it was wet, we sprinkled in a little bit of their glitter. Great. Pixie and that dust. helps to set. Pixie so dust. then that way when you're picking it up, you don't always have the glitter <laughs> falling off. Yep. yep. And these. That's cute. We're just, just kind of dry brushed. And I okay. started with the green paint and just dry brushed randomly. So really, basically, you can do anything you want to yeah, do. Yeah, you can do I anything mean, you just want. And then I just mix the colors. Whatever color And we're actually using three different colors, a light pink, a little bit darker pink, and then teal. A great teal okay. to go mm -hmm. in. Yep, and, just, and then after they were all dry, which takes very little time with the Earth Safe Finishes, they dry very, very quickly. We went in and sealed all of them with the varnish, and they are ready to go. Now, yep. I feel like sealing it with the varnish is sort of like the key. Make sure that you do that when you're done so you don't lose any of it the just paint. Makes and it makes it more shiny. It gives okay. a little yeah. bit more, it just you gives know, it a finish little bit, look. A little bit more luster. Look. I'm not sure if it'll show, but it's just a little bit more luster and it yeah. seals it in place. I can see it. I mean, I don't know if you can, yeah. but Okay, I can. so I think I'm going to show everybody how to do the heart now. Okay. So this is really super simple. What I did is I just, out of a piece of paper, I cut out a heart shape. And then I trace the heart shape on muslin. Now, you don't have to use muslin. You can use an old shirt, whatever you want to use for this. So if you really want to make this totally recyclable project, you can do that, too. Raid Dad's t-shirt drawer. There you go. Well, I think that the Just knit might not be strong it. enough. So, But maybe like his old, you know, cotton boxers. So then we're going to top stitch right along Jeez. the edge. And I use a really, really tiny stitch on this all the way around the edge. And the reason I did that is I'm not going to be turning this inside out, so I want the stitch to be really nice and tight. Okay? And if you can't, if you're not a sewer on the sewing machine, you know I try to encourage you to do that as much as possible. Please try it. If not, you can hand stitch too. Can you glue it? No. I'm going to make you sew. Then what I did is I took just took the, the sponge brush and I just painted right onto the muslin. Then I used this as the lighter pink I used on this. And I did it on both sides. Okay. Okay? Uh-huh. All right? Got it. Got it? So now when you're done with it, I took my good old trusty pinking shears and I simply cut the heart out. Of course, you want to let it dry. It doesn't take very long, very quick. but because it is the fabric, it takes a little bit longer than it would on the wood beads that you had, Cindy. Okay, so just cut around the edge. You know what that kind of looks like? It kind of looks like suede. It does. Oh, yeah. you're right, it, it does. does. 
That's this is right. our suede puffy heart we're doing today. <laughs> Very take good, that Megan. One. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use one of the stencils. Okay. okay. And we're going to use, and oh, we put this great, this called tacifier on the back. Girl, you have been tacified. <laughs> That's and our new you, tagline. What they do is just, just like, so they tell how to do because you were putting it on the stencil for me. We just me. used a, a foam brush and just sponged on a little bit onto the back of the stencil and then just let it dry so for see, like, like two like minutes. It sticks. It won't come it off. It holds it in place. It'll work on fabric, wood, and paper. So now what I'm going to do, let's, we can just move that out of the way for a minute. I'm going to place on my, I chose a little peace sign. Now you can see too, I can actually lift this up and it's not going to come off. So. It really works great so your product, your, or when you're stenciling, it doesn't slide. And if you stencil before, you know that can be a problem. And I'm going to just use a stencil brush. And here again, just want to pounce a little bit of the paint off. And then I'm just going to pounce like this. Now, why are you pouncing off some of the paint there, Simba? Because it'll be too gloppy. Okay. Ooh, I like that gloppy. Gloppy. Too gloppy. So that we have our little piece sign. Cute. Okay, isn't that cute? And let it dry. And let it dry. Now I'm going to come back in with another stencil. This is just a fun swirly swirly. And I'm going to lay that right down. And you would want to let that dry a little bit, but in between. And I'm going to use this great, the pearl here again. Mm. This is... Um, shimmer opaque. The shimmer, I'm sorry, shimmer opaque. I love this stuff. It's really pretty. Awesome. Oh. oh, I have enough in there. And so here again, pounce, pounce, pounce. Okay, and then I'm just going to, let's get that out of the way. And we're just gonna pounce this. And this is really fun, we're layering with the stencils, which is super, super cute. And then when you lift it up, you need oohs and ahs. Ooh! Ooh. Ah. Oh. So it's really, <laughs> it's really that simple. Very cute. <laughs> That's cute. So now, after that dries, and you can really, you can go ahead and do both sides. Ooh, miracle, here's a little peace sign already. Ooh. Wow. And go ahead and stencil so your heart is on both, you know. Right, in case it gets flipped. Right. And then, remember, I left that little opening, and we're just going to open that up. And I'm going to put a little bit, I'm not going to do it, you know, I'm going to just stuff a little batting in there. Wait, can I ask you a question? Yeah. When you cut around the thing, you mentioned that you have to cut on the outside. outside of the stitches. I probably didn't say that, but cut on the outside of the stitches. I didn't know if you didn't say it or if I'm just not listening. No, like I don't usual. think I said it. So <laughs> I'm just using a, a little craft stick here to open it up a little bit, and then you're going to stuff the batting inside. Okay. When we're done, what we've done here is then I just hand stitch that little hole closed. Oh, okay. Okay. I use the um, the marine varnish. Oh, right over the, the top of it? Yeah, and you can add as much as you want because, look, it's still flexible, but it gives it that shine and almost makes it like, what is that? Is that really fabric or what is that that we use? Right. Okay. It seals it too. Is it suede? Is it suede? Mm -hmm. And then I just simply tack the ribbon on here, piece of ribbon. You can use cording, whatever you want to use to some of Cindy's lovely beads. Little hint, add some scotch tape to the um, end when you're beading. <laughs> then what's the great part, of course, you know, I did make my ribbon a little too long. But you can just tie this in a bow in the back. And then you have this, there's your great little puff heart. It'd be fun with a cute, a plain little t-shirt or... Oh yeah, a plain little t-shirt or these great striped ones. Yeah. Why are we wearing, <laughs> you think we're in our pajamas? Why do we look like the lime? I don't want to talk about these shirts. <laughs> so thanks so much for joining us today, Cindy. Thanks for showing us the great technique. Anytime, thank you. Mom. Yes, darling. Good job. And you know what we always say when creativity knocks? Open, Open the, the door. door.